Hey everybody, Sean Walker from I Train Hockey here. We're going to do some hockey back stretches. This is actually a routine that I regularly do uh, twice a day, so once in the morning, um, basically as soon as I get up, and then another time um, in the afternoon, probably around 4 or 5 o'clock, um, uh, right before I generally meditate. And so it's always really good just to move your body and obviously get any uh, extra stress uh, that's been built up within your physiology um, uh, out and you do it through these stretches. Um, my sister, who's a big yoga guru and uh, yoga instructor, she could probably tell you a hell of a lot more, but I've been doing yoga for a number of years now. Um, um, try to at least attend a, one class a week just to diversify my workout a little bit, maintain some flexibility, and, um, and obviously it's just great, great for your overall health. Um, and so this is, yeah, the regular routine that I do um, twice a day. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, all of the names, I was just chatting with my sister just to kind of confirm like the exact names to them. So they're not like the, um, 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 the most specific ones, but uh, they're the ones that are generally used, especially within like a North American culture. Um, so, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this one's plank. We're going to move it into chaturanga. It's just like that, uh, uh, regular flow that you'd see and to upward facing dog and um, and then I always like to do it with like a little bit of a twist here so I'm generally flowing through each of these uh, poses fairly quickly so with each one I like to hold for uh, anywhere between five to ten seconds um, I think it's uh, just a good idea for you to obviously go throughout your own pace um, go throughout the exercises throughout your own pace but um, five to ten seconds for each pose is, is more than fine. I find that if any part of my body is going to ever get stiff, it's always been a low back as well as uh, maybe hips as well too. So um, I remember going for walks like downtown Toronto and you know, you're know you obviously, um, even if you are just walking, it's hard on your knees, it's hard on your, on your hips uh, quite a bit. Um, and, uh, and I always just found that if there was one thing that was ever going to be, uh, like a little bit hurt or sore after, um, these long walks, it would be my hips. And that was before I ever started doing uh, yoga consistently twice a day, um, low back as well too. I know there's a lot of hockey players that uh, have complained about this, especially when you play ho hockey over an extended period of time. Like let's say you're playing in a hockey tournament and there's two or three games that day. Um, this is... I think it's just as vital as eating healthy, getting enough rest the night before. Um, it should be, a, it could be a nice cool down as well too, um, um, right after either a hockey game, practice, workout. Um, you could even use it as like a little bit of a warm up as well too. Um, but generally, warm ups are a bit more dynamic, and we like to move our bodies a bit more, break a sweat. So you're obviously not going to do that um, here unless it's in like a hot yoga class, let's say. But um, but generally, um, I've found that um, I don't have any low back pain. My hips are completely fine now. I never experienced that even after really long hikes or long walks, long runs as well too. And um, so I think it's completely beneficial for any athlete to do, but especially hockey players who are always kind of in an athletic stance, nice and low and wide, bending their backs. Um, you know, our, our movements on the ice are so dynamic. We're constantly moving. Um, and we need to maintain a, that certain level of agility. And if you need to have agility in any athletic sport, um, plus you need to be, you know, a certain have a certain level of strength and power as well too, and speed. Um, what um, I just feel like flexibility is is of the utmost importance. And I'm just happy that yoga has finally become a little bit more popularized in the hockey uh, world. Um, but, um, but yeah, this, are, this is just a general routine for you guys to follow if you guys would like. Um, otherwise, start attending some yoga classes yourself um, just to, again, diversify your workouts. And, um, and you can experience certain types of poses that the instructor might be able to recommend to you that you know, I wouldn't be able to recommend nearly as, as well as uh, in detail as what they could do. Um, so I'm in no way some, uh, an expert. I'm more or less just a practitioner of yoga. And, uh, but I find it extremely beneficial. I'm really hard on my body in the sense that like I'm, I'm doing something athletic either on the ice or off the ice, um, every day. Um, 
generally three or four hours every day. And so uh, with that, it's a lot of wear and tear in the body. And I would be experiencing probably more pain um, or more discomfort if I wasn't, um, uh, if I wasn't doing this uh, uh, routine. But um, so because I am, I'm, I'm not experiencing um, any type of injuries. And I think it's actually a great, great way for injury prevention as well, too. Um, LeBron James, I just listened to an awesome podcast with him, and he says that he's constantly doing yoga as well, too, for injury prevention. So it's extremely important. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give all these exercises a try. Try it once a day at least.